يعطيكم العافية طلابنا أحبائنا كيفكم إن شاء الله كلكم جميعا بخير أنتوا أهلكم نحن كنا بال بالفيديوهات الماضية بلشنا بالدرس systems of equations أو فينا نقول systems of linear equations تعرفنا على شو هو ال system definition ورجعنا أخذنا كنا مخدين الجرافيكال ميثود جرافينج ميثود تو درو ذا تو لاينز ورجعنا اخذنا سبستيوشن ميثود ورجعنا اخذنا الاليمينيشن اليمينيشن ميثود هاو دي الميثودز لحتى نقدر نحل السيستم لحتى نجيب الاكس ونجيب الواي مرق معنا بارتيكولار كيسز انه سيستم وذ وان سوليوشن سيستم وذ نو سوليوشن لما بيكونوا تو لاينز ات بارل بيكون عنده سيم سلوب و system are with an infinite number of solutions when the two lines are confounded in the same equation. Now we are going to introduce another method to solve the system of equation, which is a simple method also, and you already have known this method uh, from the previous information, which is the comparison method. The comparison method. This method. What does it mean? Is to compare one unknown in the first equation with the same unknown in the second equation. For example, you could say y equal y or x equal x from both equations. This means that we transform the, third, the two equations to the form y equal x plus b and y equal x plus b, the second equation, and we compare y equal y, then we solve for to find the value of x or we can also use x equal x and we solve for the value of y let let us see an example given the system y equal minus 2x plus 3 and y equal minus x minus 3 then by comparison we say directly y equal y which means that minus 2x plus 3 equal minus x minus 3 and now we get this equation this equation is of the first degree in one unknown and we solve for the value of x minus 2x plus x equal minus 3 minus 3 and minus x equal minus 6 and so x equals 6 now we take this x equals 6 and we substitute it in any of the two equations we choose the easy one or the simple one substitute for x equals 6 in equation 2 y equal minus x minus 3 is equation 2 so instead of x we put 6 then we get y equal minus 6 minus 3 and y equal minus 9 and so the solution of the system is 6 minus 9 note that we can use x equal x if it is easier x equal x this is a simple method there is no need you can try any two any examples by using the comparison method by your own and this is a, a clear example about it and we are going now to, um, to go to the last objective in this chapter which is equations and problem solving systems of linear equations and problem solving what does it mean problem solving كلنا نتذكر انه بيجي واحد بحذرنا حزوره مثلا بيقول لكم في خمس عصافير على الشجره زدنا لهم وفي كمان عصافير على الارض زدنا اثنين للي فوق صار اللي تحت قد كذا يعني حزازير من هالنوع راح نشوف نحن هلا كيف بنشتغل بهيدي البروبلم سولفينج اند وات ار ذا ستبس تو ستارت سولفينج ا بروبلم بروبلم سولفينج ستبس فيرست ستيب انديرستاند ذا بروبلم this is a very important part is to understand the problem by language we should understand the language of this problem and we should understand the given exactly if we didn't understand the given exactly then this may be a big problem how to understand the problem read and reread the problem read and reread two Choose a variable to represent the unknown. In, in, in these problems, in, in kind of these problems, we have variables. We have variables, values that we don't know. It may be a price, it may be a quantity, it may be anything. We should choose a variable to represent the unknown. And 
as you will see in this in the example here we should choose two and uh, two uh, variables to represent the two unknowns propose a solution and check يعني ما بلش نتحذر نتحذر مرة اثنين بس ما بنعرف اذا ما وصلنا للحل بدنا نلاقي نعمل بلان كامل 10 step 2 translate the problem into two equations the problem should give a sufficient uh, given that we can transform this given into two equations 3 solve the system of equations so when we get when we translate the problem to two equations we get a system of two equations and two unknowns and then we should solve the system of equations for interpret the results we uh, verify the results if they are uh, right or wrong and we check our uh, solutions by replacing the values we get in both equations and we see if this uh, res these results are true or not check proposed solution in the problem and also the solution we get we should check it in the problem state your conclusion let's take an example this is a problem this is a problem one number is four mo more than twice the second number their total sum is 25 find the numbers so the given here states that we have two numbers. One of them is four more than twice the second number. But their total sum is 25. Understand. This is easy to understand. It. Read and read the problem. We read it one and more if we didn't understand it. Suppose that the second number is five. We are making a supposition here. It may be true, it may be wrong, but to make a supposition which is true, this is rare to happen. Then, if we if we suppose that the second number is five, then the first number which is four more than twice the second number, four more in four plus twice the second number means two times the second number, and the second number is five. Let's check. So it would have be 4 plus 2 times 5. This dot means times. 4 plus 2 times 5, 4 plus 10, which is 14. And now we add 14 plus 5. Is, the, is their total sum 25? No. 14 plus 5 is 19. Our proposed solution is incorrect, but we now have a better understanding of the problem. In Since we are looking for two numbers, now we uh, do the let we do the let we say let x be the first number and let y be the second number and we translate the given into two equations one number is for the first part of the problem one number is four more than, more than twice the second number this means that x which is the first number is equal to four plus two times y twice the second number to y and four more is four plus this is the first equation the second equation their total or their sum is 25 this means that if we add x plus y then we get 25 the second equation so here we have two equations and we go put them in a system x equal 4 plus 2 y and x plus y equal 25 this is a system of two equations and we choose any method the simplest method to solve them using substitution method since we have x equal 4 plus 2 y we use the substitution method method we substitute for x in the second equation which is x plus y equal 25 and instead of x we put 4 plus 2 y plus y equal 25 so here we get an equation of the first degree in one unknown which is y Four. Then we do the computation. Four plus two y plus y. Four plus two y. Three y equal twenty-five. Three y equal twenty-five minus four, and three y equal twenty-one. We divide both sides by three, and we get y equal seven. Now we have y. We substitute for y in any of the two equations, <laughs> or let's say in the. Uh, we substitute for the value of y into the first equation which is x equal 4 plus 2y to get x directly 
and here it's easy to substitute for y in the first equation and we get x equal 4 plus 2y equal 4 plus 2 times 7 equal 4 plus 14 equal 18 and so the solution should be x equal 18 and y equal 7 we substitute for x equal 18 and y equal 7 in both equations first equation we get it true second equation we get it true the two numbers are 18 and 7 finally the, interpreta in, in the interpretation we say that the first number is 18 and the second number is 7 example 2 Hilton University Drama Club sold 311 tickets for a play يعني عم يبيعوا بطاقات لمسرحية student tickets cost 50 cents الطالب عم نلو حسب بتطلع بتطلع البطاقة ب 50 cents non student tickets cost 1.5 إذا بدي يجي حدا مش طلاب يحضر بتكون التيكت 1.5 دولار if the total amount of money يعني المصاري اللي جمعوها كانت 385.5 دولار find how many tickets of each type were sold بدنا نعرف كم باعوا تيكت ل students وكم باعوا تيكت ل non students يعني بدنا نعرف number of students وبدنا نعرف number of non students الناس العاديين اللي اجوا understand read and read the problem نرجع نقراها مرة واثنين وثلاثة لنفهمها suppose the number of students بنعمل uh, افتراض suppose the number of students tickets was 200 since the total number of tickets sold was 311 يعني إذا إذا الطلاب طلعوا 200 تيكت اشتروا 200 قديش بيبقى للغير طلاب بيبقى 311 لأنه عددهم كلهم للتيكت سنة 311 عددهم كلهم بيطلع 311 minus 200 بيطلع 111 للنون ستيودنت أتأكد من هيدا الافتراض إذا صح أو أو غلط Use the total sum 385.5 cost of the students will be the the L نحن افترضنا عنا 200 student كل student بيدفع بده يدفع 50 cent يعني نص دولار 200 ضرب نص دولار بيطلع 100 دولار بيدفعوا ال students بيطلعوا دفعين 100 دولار وهو ديك ال non students اللي هني 100 111 نضرب ال 111 111 times 1.5 dollars and we get 166.5 is our assumption true? To know if our supposition is true, we add 100 plus 166.5 and we get 266.5 while the total, the total sum was given 385.5 so our proposed solution is incorrect. فإذا هيدا الافتراض اللي عملنا كان غلط بس ولكن حاولنا وفهمنا البروبلم أكتر Since we are looking, looking for two numbers, let's say The students, the number of students, let the number of students be S. S means student. And the non-student, the number of non-students is N. Noftorid, let S be the number of students, let N be the number of non-student tickets. Translate. Banan hawalun la shu la equations. Awal osam min la problem. Hilton University Drama Club sold 311 tickets for a play. Fazan hayd jimli ta'atini عدد students and non students يعني s plus n equal 311 because in the first equation is s plus n equal 311 as you can see here the unknowns are not x and y they are s and n the same as in x and y total sum the total sum يعني المصار اللي انجمعت is 385.5 how to get the equation of this total sum the students نضرب عدد students اللي سميناه S بعد سعر البطاقة تبعولهم هي 0.5 plus 4 students هي 0.5 S وكمان بنضرب عدد الغير طلاب the non students with the cost of their ticket which is 1.5 دولار يعني cost of the non students is 1.5 and then we add them then we add them مفروض بس نجمعهم يعني المصاري اللي حصلناها من students كلهم والمصاري اللي حصلناها من non students كلهم مفروض قداش يعطونا 385.5 dollars okay this is the second equation so we get the first equation s plus n equal 311 and the second equation 0.5 s plus 1.5 n equal 385.5 dollars so 
we put the two systems as a system and we work with two the two equations in any method you may choose as the simple method since the equations are written in standard form and we might like to get rid of the decimals anyway in this equation we have decimals what to do to uh, get rid of these decimals we multiply the second equation by minus 2 ضربنا الثاني equation عم نشتغل على شو هلا بنشوف على شو عم نشتغل we multiply the second equation the whole second equation by minus 2 and we get بتصير second equation minus 2 times 0.5 is minus 1s we don't put the s uh, the 1 we get minus s and minus 2 times 1.5 and we get minus 3n and minus 2 times 300 minus 2 times 385 we get minus 771 so these two equations as you can see here the s here and the s here they are opposite so by adding by adding we eliminate s and this is the elimination method so we get s plus minus s is 0 cancelled n plus minus 3n is minus 2n it's okay and 311 plus minus 771 equal minus 460 and we divide both sides by minus 2 to get n equal to 130 n equal to 130 is the number of tickets sold for the non-students is the number of tickets sold for the non-students then now we substitute n in the first equation Substitute for the value of n in the first equation, which is the simple one, s plus n equal 311. Instead of n, we put 230, and we get s plus 230 equal 311, s equal 311 minus 130, so s equal 81. The solution, the solution now, the system is s equal 81 and n equal 230. To make sure that this solution is true, we continue by verification in both equations. In first equation, s plus n equal 311, 81 plus 230 equal 311 too. Second equation, minus 0 0.5 s plus 1.5 n equal 385.5, minus 0 0.5 instead of s, which is 81, and instead of n, we put 230, and we get 40.5 plus 345 equal 385, which is true. There were then finally the conclusion there were 81 student tickets and 230 non student tickets sold. يعني باعوا 81 بطاقة للطلاب وباعوا 230 بطاقة لغير الطلاب لحتى نطلع معهم هذا المجموع اللي هو 385.5. So this is the solution of the system following the four steps that we explain. This is an assignment. Please, uh, please watch the video quietly. If you can, repeat it more than one more time and understand the explanation well uh, and do this assignment do this assignment one two three and four okay this assignment should be uh, uh, easy and try to do it well solving systems as a summary the best time to use which method يعني how the ملاحظات انت نستعمل الطرق اللي تعلمنا graphing used to estimate the solution okay graphing برسمون ومنحصل ال point of intersection and here here other than graphing we can use since they are y equal كذا and y equal كذا they are both in the form equal x plus b we may use the comparison method and we say y equal y to find the point of intersection algebraically as you know we say directly y equal y and put to x minus three equal x minus and we solve substitution if one of the variables is e in either equation has a coefficient of one or minus one substitution for example like this y is minus six x plus y equal minus seven directly we can get y equals six x minus seven and we substitute it in the first equation elimination as you know we may use the addition elimination if we have opposite coefficients we use we may use elimination by subtraction if we have the same coefficient and we may do some multiplication to get 
either opposite coefficients or the same coefficients. Here we are. We multiply by five. The first, the first equation we get 10x. After multiplication we get 10x, and here we get 10x. So we subtract here and here three times uh, three times two uh, y. Uh, equal 6y and 2 times uh, 3y equal 6y also we use the elimination by subtraction this is our lesson i hope you will have a good time and see you soon